We're broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, no game to back him. Come on. Get him out. Get him out. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And at the first down, he was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good... And the defense goes for the jugular. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! First and four. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep, let's go then. It's all. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pass, Grant. You're right. And he picks up about six on the play. That'll be second down and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Third and four. First down. First and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and two. Threads the needle for a first down. Oh, 
First and eight to go. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Man, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The defense is relentless out there, and they get the turnover. was an all-pro NFL hit. I'm a house camel and silo. I am a hell and all silo. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down in a very lot. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex and lockup last night. Nearly ain't a good He one. is fighting for every yard. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and nine. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and he had it for a second there. Third down and nine. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. You know, his great-grandfather was in that movie, Alien 17. Where's Rip? 
Ripley when he needed to bust out the big guns. Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. And they line up for the extra point. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and seven. Whoa. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. down and long. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and five. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh... <clears throat> They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked, and the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. And four. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nice. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... Oh, what a brutal hit! And a 
points. First and ten. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. Uh, a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> this guy's a brick should have. Nicely done for a first down. First down and five. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and five. That hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. to the races. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called... It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Second and three. Oh. 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 Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh. 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 Nice pass for a 10-yard game. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Talk for the first down! It's first and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Eh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. up a new set of downs. Nah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this rep. Yeah, the death penalty. Take him by the nuts. I don't even get out of it. Yeah. 
second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. And they say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. You've got to catch that. Third down and eight. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here and he just lets that one go he says no thank you and the defense downs it and it's first and ten Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and two. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in time, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Hey, the dog being snags. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. <laughs> and it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and five. Big 
falling out. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Bricks. Great color work as usual. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Now here, I would put the ball in my hand, pick off my hand, and throw it for a yard. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball came boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. Second down and nine. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Freud rage. How do you like your rage? Scrambled or fried? On Freud rage breakfast special. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, 
sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Oh, great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, Grim. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Oh, come on, it's not that hard to kick, is it? Because this guy's making it look really hard. Yeah, maybe he's just having a bad leg day. I get those, you know, the Jimmy leg. Every day with you is a fucking bad everything day. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking all man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And that'll be second down and four. at the last second. Nifty move there. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out... At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. And it's first and ten. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. QB is saying his prayers. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems. Nice catch, and it's boom! <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? He breaks away. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? The Hexon Oilers win the game today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I want it scrambles tomato soup. I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Thank you.
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.